Houston may be the corpulent capital of America, but four other cities in the Lone Star State are also packing on the pounds. Fox 26's Ned Hibbert tells us about the troubles of tubby Texans, Ned. And that's right. You know, they say everything's bigger in Texas, Mike and Melissa, and it seems waistlines are no exception. Even so, not many are willing to forfeit the fight against fat, a fight where you have to lose to win. Madeline Bradley wants to melt away. What temperature are we going to start off at? Without moving a muscle. I stand here 45 minutes and I lose between two and four pounds. The Dynamed T2000, she says, is a dieter's dream come true. Combining aromatherapy, soothing tunes, and good vibrations with a rapidly rising reading. We are programmed to have very high temperatures. About 175 degrees, says Dr. Marina Pearsall. The machine motivates the metabolism, she claims, boosting the body's built-in blubber-burning abilities. Obesity is a very serious medical condition. And the battle of the bulge knows no boundaries. I've tried it all. And this is my last resort here. So it is for a host of Houstonians. Our metropolis topped the list of scale-tipping towns measured by Men's Fitness Magazine. Even more telling, Dallas, San Antonio, Fort Worth, and El Paso also weighed in with the fattest 15. In fact, only Louisiana outlards the Lone Star State, says the Centers for Disease Control. Keep the knees off. No surprise to Rice Professor Felicia Cavallini who says the magazine's unscientific study only underscores the fact that gaining weight is gaining popularity. And it's across the nation, across all populations. The solution? Put your best foot forward and find a workout that doesn't feel like work. When students talk to me about what types of activities that they want to do, I always ask them, well, who are you? What do you enjoy? Or ask Austin. The state capitol clocked in as the fittest city in Texas. Austinites say Houston's high humidity and couch-bound culture are why our city can't seem to drop the weight. There really aren't a whole lot of trails or facilities for people to train on like they can in Austin. It's just that kind of town. Everyone's really health conscious. Behind the blinds, back in the Bayou City, Madeline Bradley continues to wage war with her waistline. And she's not taking it, lying down. It's good for cosmetic purposes, but also for your health. And we don't want to be the fattest city. No, we don't, nor the fattest state. But with nearly one out of four Texans considered clinically obese, Mike and Melissa, the Lone Star State sure has a long way to go. Apparently we all do. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, Ned. You bet.